here's something to ponder. Can you earn more money than you did last year, but actually make less money than you did last year in more professional talk? Can your salary be higher this year than it was last year, but at the end of the day, your net income, your take-home pay is lower? Is that possible? Does that even make sense? Well, it is possible. I answered the question, trick question. And I'm going to give you two examples. The first one, there was there was someone in my mother's office. Obviously, I don't know their salary. Let's, let's just say that the person made $50,000 a year. Because they're making $50,000 a year, they paid a certain federal income tax rate. Let's just make it up. Let's say a 10% tax rate. So they made 50000 a year last year, and they had a 10% tax rate. Well, this year they got a raise, so now maybe they make 60000 a year. The problem is because they made more money, their salary went up, it pushed them into a higher tax bracket. And so they, when they made $50,000 a year, they had a 10% bracket. Let's say now they make $60,000 a year, it pushed them up into, say, the 20% bracket. So I'm, I'm mathematically, I'm not a math major, I don't know if that actually works out, but you get the idea that it, even though they made more money, they got a raise and pushed them into a higher tax bracket, so they ended up paying more taxes, and they ended up taking home less money at the end of the day, even though they're, on paper their salary was higher. That's my first example. The second example... Um, I, I forget which show it was. I was watching a, a television show, maybe on TLC or something like that. I was talking about a single father who worked. A, he was a man. He worked in manufacturing. He was the manager of a company. Maybe I saw this on 60 Minutes. Maybe he was the manager of a manufacturing company. I guess he was in charge. No, no, no. It was um. What was it? It was a charity. He was the he was he worked he was head of the office of a charity. I guess they just they they raised money. They distributed some kind of products, you know, say food or clothing. And he was worked. He was in charge of the factory where they distributed the products to to people who were in need. So let's say he was making fifty thousand dollars a year because he was making fifty thousand dollars a year. He had, I think, five children. Because he was making $50,000 a year, because he had five children, all very young, the government subsidized the preschool costs for his children. So instead of full-time pre-K for five children, pre-K out of pocket would have cost him, say, $20,000 a year or $15,000 a year. Meanwhile, the guy's only making $50,000 a year before taxes. Because his salary was so low, the government heavily subsidized his preschool. At some point, he got a raise. So now, let's say he makes $75,000 a year, up from fifty. Because he went over the limit, the government would no longer subsidize his children's preschool. So when he made $50,000, preschool cost him zero. Now he makes $75,000. It costs him about $20,000, $25,000 a year after taxes to send his children to preschool. Also, don't forget, because he's making more money, we have a progressive tax code federally in this country, and so do most states. The more money you make, the higher percentage of taxes you have to pay and so he ended up getting a raise but it really cost him more money because the government because he went over a certain number certain salary mark the government would no longer subsidize the preschool for his four or five children and so although he made more on paper he actually at the end of the day made less and I think he had to end up taking his kids out of preschool. Now, I, I, I forget exactly what he did, but it was really, really tough for him. I think he ended up declining the raise. How sad is that? That he had to tell his boss, you know, I don't want the raise because a raise is bad for me. That's pretty unfortunate in America, and that's pretty sad. And so... 
I mean, it's, it's something to think about, that making more money sometimes really means you're making less money. And so there's something to ponder.